boy, cause I got the Fali Sado La I ain't did my warm ups yet. Okay, know? okay. I can't okay. sing today. Okay. So, you guys, are you guys. <laughs> oh, man. For another episode of Shifting Gears. I'm your host, Janae Brown, and we are on our way to pick up our next athletes. So today we have Miles Burris and Darnell Rogers from Trinity Christian Academy. Now they are amazing football players, and we are definitely picking them up in style, courtesy of Tom Bush Automotive. So today, you guys, we have a 2024 Mazda CX plug-in hybrid. Now this car has everything that you want and more. Um, some of my favorite features include the smart brake control and it also activates an automatic emergency brake if it senses that your car is about to be in a collision, which real fancy. Um, it's real comfortable, a very smooth ride, and it's very spacious. And when I mean spacious, I mean spacious. It has not one, not two, but three rows of seats <laughs> so you can fit everybody that you want in this car. So we are going to go pick them up right now. So come along for the journey, and I will see you all when we get there. Bye. I think that's her. Oh, that is the man. Ooh, that car nice. Oh, nice. Hey guys, get in. <laughs> Alright guys, let's get going. Well, thank you guys so much for joining me. For the people that don't know who you are, explain to the people who you are. Hey, I'm Miles Burris, UNC Charlotte Commit, 2024. I play for Trinity Christian Academy, receiver. Uh, my name is Darnell Rogers, running back for Trinity Christian Academy, Bell Austin State Commit. So how did you guys start playing football? Um, I've been playing since I was younger, you know, as a little boy. I just, I love going out there, running around, having fun with my friends, and, and I just like, it was very enjoyable to do, and then like, once I started getting good at it, that was even a plus, so then I started to fall in love with the game since. Uh, I fell in love uh, at the age of five, my dad used to have me. Uh, I thought I was going to be a quarterback. Oh. But uh, my height, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know about a quarterback, <laughs> but I'm going to be a quarterback. It's okay, we don't actually. <laughs> Uh, Look at him lying. <laughs> 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 but now, uh, then, uh, you know, I was, my first year, I wasn't real good at it, but I never wanted to quit it. Mm -hmm. I don't know, it was something about it. Then that next year, I started uh, having a feel for it, and I just loved it ever since then. So, what is your biggest football accomplishment in your opinion? Winning state. Okay. I sadly have won state. Okay. My ninth grade year, I was at Trinity, but then I got hurt, so I was oh, rehabbing, okay. and then they went on to win state. I can't lie, that hurt. Okay. That, that did hurt. Mm -hmm. But my biggest football accomplishment was uh, probably getting scholarships. You know, that was okay. always a dream as a kid, is just getting scholarships. So, so once like I got my first one, I was like running around the house, all happy, like excited. I remember getting one one of my offers I was super excited about I dropped my phone and cracked it oh wow it was crazy but you were real excited but yeah it was just like <laughs> I don't know it was just a great feeling and to know that like the hard work paid off so it was a it was a great feeling so you guys are both committed explain to me what schools you're committed to and what made you make that decision uh, I'm committed to UNC Charlotte like I said and it's in Charlotte North Carolina it's a nice school um I just love the coaches and love what they're doing with it and the opportunity there and uh, how they're moving up in divisions and able to compete for a national championship. And I'm hoping that me and my class can go over there and change the program and, and, and do something great. Uh, I chose that I stay because of the uh, well tight community it has. It's a very small town. Uh, everybody knows everybody. Uh, I just I wanted to go there to network because the people there are lovely. Like they they really take you in as family. You feel you feel welcoming in the environment, and uh, it, it helped me into the major that I want to uh, go with. Okay, what do you want to do? Uh, mental health psychiatry. Okay. Yes, ma'am. Do you know what you want your major to be? Um, I'm gonna be a physical therapy major okay. with a. Uh, uh, 
minor in business so I can open up my own practice once I graduate. Wow, okay. How do you guys balance school and sports? Uh, the main thing with school and sports is being able to to designate time for each and and not try to just bounce around and do so. My I go to school and I get my training done when I have three periods. Or, so when I get home, I'm able to do all my homework and get everything done by by the due date. So that's that's real important to me and my family is getting being able to balance school and sports. Yeah, with me. Um I had to listen to my parents uh, to see what to do and how to do it. Then when I got older, I did it on my own. So I uh, uh, take time out of my day to study. When I come from practice, I know I have to study for something. I stay up extra late. I know I get that sleep back. But um, yeah, it's just about preparation and being uh, responsible with what you need to do. So who are your biggest inspirations, either football or just in general? Um, in football, probably my biggest inspiration is uh, those like around me that have went to college like that I knew so it's not specifically just one person when it comes to football it's just those around me have been successful and, and, and show the right way to do it and like basically pay the way for people to, to follow their lead and, and do that but when it comes to life it's probably my parents and my older brother they just they um they help me see situations from a different and help me like make the best decision for myself and what they think and they they also criticize me to a point where I want to be better and I want to be better as a person in general. Good. Uh, uh, with me, uh, it's my mom, my uncle Johnny, and my cousin Zavoye and like in life because them are the three most known people that I know of. Uh, taught me a lot about the world. It's not all about, it's not all about being the toughest. It's about who is the most um, wise. And being wise will carry you a long way, knowing what to do, when to do it. Uh, in football, I'll say, really no, I don't, I don't really look up nobody in football. Okay. But that's just me. Because, you know, uh, the same as how they did, I know I can do it. Mm -hmm. I don't need uh, inspiration. I got myself. That's how I feel. What about you? Do you have football inspiration? Um, or someone that you just model your game after? Well, people in the NFL model my game after. Mm -hmm. like, like receivers like Keenan Allen and, and, and Dez Bryant and stuff like that. But like, bro, bro what's funny back there? <laughs> I don't know what all that laughing for, man. <laughs> but, well, technically, you laughed at him too. Yeah, yeah I, <laughs> I, did, I did laugh at him, so I guess it's a little get back. But, but yeah, it's just people like that. But I really, I really like to be like he said. Like I see how others did it. It's inspiring. But but you know everybody has their own path to greatness, and and I like to follow my path and, and model and use what others have, but also use it in my way. So you guys play two different positions. So what are some good characteristics that both of your positions need to have? Um. My position, you have to be able to be be uh, conscious of the game, like right? like where everybody's gonna be and when they will be there, so you'll be able to be open. Um, you also have to be athletic, be able to catch the ball, be able to run routes. That's very important. And um, while doing that, you also have to be, a, be have to be a playmaker at the end of the day and just score points for your team. And that and that's that. That's what, what your job is to catch the ball and score touchdowns. Okay, that's good. Um, with me, um, first protect my QB at all costs. Mm -hmm. uh, vision, vision being elusive, uh, knowing when to that, knowing when to, <laughs> knowing when to speed up, slow down, uh, you guys. different things. And like every player has or should have is a uh, love for your teammates. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I don't know how to get real open. Right, You're bro. already close to the ground. All right, bro. All right, bro. All right, that's, all right I'm the last one. So the rest of I'm talking crazy. I'm my last one. Oh, man. Please ask us another question. Please, I can't wait. Please. Okay, so since you guys love each other so much, how'd you guys meet? Uh, We met through football. You okay. know, we 
We both just two funny guys. We just love joking around all the time. I don't think we can take anything serious. Yeah, you know. So like, like before the game, coach is talking. We just like, we, he said, let him say anything, anything. We'll we'll just look at each other. We try to hold it in so bad. It just be so hard. So we, that's how we gravitated toward each other. Just being two funny dudes joking around in the locker room, having fun, and became a brotherhood between us. Yeah, it did. Uh, I met Miles. I be I be having to get him get him straight. <laughs> yeah, he be he be playing more than me. But nah, uh, Miles. Yeah, I just seen I, the type of person he was. He wasn't like uh, other people I've encountered. You know, that weren't good for me. But me and Miles was clicked. It was automatic. So, what would someone be surprised to know about you? Or you can do each other. Uh, and you go. Mmm. What would someone be surprised? Uh, I, I'm still kind of childish, so I like to play with Legos. Okay. People don't know that. Okay. Is there like a certain type of Lego? I know there's like Batman Lego. Oh no, any type. Okay. Any, anything. Okay. Um, something interesting about me. This this is really deep, so like, I don't want nobody making fun. Of me. <laughs> but I did choir in the sixth grade. Okay. So can you sing? Can you choir sing? boy. <laughs> choir boy. <laughs> no. Don't know that. Please. Choir. Um, you have a vocal. You have hey, vocals. Hey. Can you sing? That's that's something <clears throat> like football. That's really my backup plan. I'm gonna go on America's Got Talent and sing. Okay. But um. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay, out. but honestly, if you had to sing like one song, what would it be? Jessica, she won't Do you ever see? <laughs> oh, hey, y'all ain't ready for that one. I ain't gonna lie. If you was, I would, I would sing it for you. But so why did you stop ready. doing choir? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I really, so I'm gonna tell you why I really started choir. Mm -hmm. So in the sixth grade, we was all in class and like they was like, we was in the middle of math class and and they was like, all right, if you think you want to be in the band or choir, go to the uh, go to the to the high school band. I was like, the high school building? Oh, I'm ready. So I went to the high school building trying to. Uh, trying to be cool, missing class in the sixth grade. And, and I went to choir and I started singing it. He was like, oh, you, you can sing. I was, like, I was like, don't tell nobody. <laughs> I had to keep it on the low. So then he was like, you can sing. So I just kept doing choir. My mom wanted me to keep doing it. So I kept doing it. Had a couple little recitals with all the, all the choir people, you know. Then my mom put me in the little choir in church. You didn't know he could sing? No, I didn't. Okay, you gotta sing us one song. No. Darnell, I you can't laugh. Hey, I'm not no. singing those songs. Come on, bro, you gotta sing. <laughs> no, 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 like sing one song. Give me like 10 seconds. I already sang On Fire. Okay, give me another song. Hey, I my vocals, I got it. I ain't did my warm ups yet. Okay, no, okay, okay. I can't sing today. Okay. So you guys, are you guys? <laughs> oh man. All right, you guys, so we are here. All right, let's get out and we're gonna play some football. All right. All righty. All right, so we are at Trinity. You guys are gonna show me some of your football moves. Who wants to go first? Miles. All right, Miles, right, what you got go for first. me? All right, so should we go down to the touchdown box? Yeah. Sure. All right, all right let's go. So we'll say this is a touchdown. Okay. All right, so just. Stand I'm left handed. Does that make a nah, difference? Nah, I'm okay. left handed too. Okay. So, so come, start it like this, and then one step in, and then go. Okay, does it matter how many up. times I stutter? Uh -huh. Okay. So let's, let's hit a little practice one. Okay. So, say hut, <laughs> and then go. Okay. All right, it sounds easy yeah, enough. Yeah, that's okay. easy. And okay, okay, just, okay. And then you just gotta catch it, and then, and then you gotta hit a little celebration. Okay. So, when do I say and hut? 
So I'm, I'm throwing it. Oh. Yeah, yeah, you the receiver, you the receiver, you the receiver. Okay, receiver. okay, 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 okay. When I say hut, you, you do that. Okay. All right, ready? Say hut. Uh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. okay Touchdown! Now, now you gotta hit a celebration, so. Okay, so it, you fell in a spike or like a, a spin? Which one's the easiest one? A spike. A, a spike. spike, okay. So, so you're gonna spike it, you're gonna spike it. And what, 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 okay, what is spike? So you just gonna. Oh, okay. Ground. That's a little spike. Okay. And then, and then we can hit a little dance. Like, all right, a little dance. Okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Okay, okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you're going to be at running back. I'm going to give you the ball. Okay. You got it. Run. Okay. Stick. That's stopping on the down. Okay. Stick. Stick. Here we go. Okay. The gritty. Okay. Hey, you right, can right. do it? Okay. I'm gonna do it with you. So, two sticks? Okay. Down. Set. Hey. Stick. 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 <laughs> <laughs>